We continue our top 40 Husker list. Hi, Sean Callahan for HuskerOnline.com. Today, we get inside the top 15 and starting the list off today at number 15, running back slash wide receiver, Wandale Robinson, arguably uh, the most highly touted member of Nebraska's 2019 recruiting class. If there was ever a recruit coming into Nebraska that was tailor-made to play in the Scott Frost offense, it's Wandale Robinson. And he is somebody that easily could win a starting role at receiver um, as he looks to be potentially someone you're going to see on the field a lot, maybe a special teams or turn guy as well. Wandell Robinson kicks things off at number 15. Moving on now to number 14, safety Deontay Williams. And, you know, a year ago he had a very productive sophomore season as a junior college transfer, uh, played behind some veterans. Now he is the guy for the Huskers on the back end. He will be the starting safety back there for the next two seasons potentially. And they look for Deontay Williams to have a big jump this year as he's going to, I think, be an upgrade at safety from what the Huskers had as starters a year ago. At number 13 on our list, offensive lineman Bo Wilson. He'll play a guard position and be the only returning interior starter the Huskers have coming back as both Tanner Farmer and Gerald Foster have graduated. So Wilson's value is big this year. And there's even some chatter that, you know what, if things were to go wrong at center, let's say a Cam Jurgens got hurt and they needed to kind of shuffle things around to get their best five guys on the field. Don't sleep on the thought of a guy like Bo Wilson even maybe playing some center. Moving on now to number 12 here on the top 40, defensive tackle Carlos Davis. It feels like him and his brother Khalil have been at Nebraska forever as this will be really their fourth year playing a big role in the defense. And I thought a year ago, Davis took one for the team. He had to play a lot of nose, and that's probably not his natural position. Um, so his production level was down because of the position he played. Now Davis will probably play more on the outside as a defensive end because both Damian and Darian Daniels look to be Nebraska's noses where a guy like Carlos Davis should be able to get plenty of reps now at defensive end. And then wrapping up today's list at number 11, cornerback Lamar Jackson. And he's somebody that had a real gut check moment. I think a lot of people even thought, you know, well, this could be a guy that transfers and leaves the program. Um, you know, when you looked at guys like Tyjon Lindsay and his Calabrasca buddies that all left town, he stuck it out. He went through the adversity. He got benched. Scott Frost challenged him, and I think that made Lamar Jackson better a year ago. You saw his production get better. He had a very big interception in the Ohio State game, um, had another interception earlier in the year as well. And I look for Lamar Jackson to have a high level of confidence now going into this season for the Big Red. That wraps up here today's Top 40 installment. When we come back next, we'll get inside the top 10 for HuskerOnline.com. I'm Sean Callahan.